Hi, my name is Brendan and I'm a musician living in the Boston area. We are reading from an excerpted transcript of former CIA director George Tenet's appearance on 60 Minutes in April 2007. I will be reading the part of George Tenet. Hi, I'm Nicole and I am working in publishing living in Boston and I will be reading the part of correspondent Scott Perry. You know, the image that's been portrayed is we sat around the campfire and said, oh boy, now we go get to torture people. We don't torture people. Let me say that again to you. We don't torture people. Okay? So... Come on, George. We don't torture people. Khalid Sheikh Mohammed? We don't torture people. Waterboarding. We do not. I don't talk about techniques. It's torture. And we don't torture people. No, listen to me. No, listen to me. I want you to listen to me. So the context is it's post 9-11. I've got reports of nuclear weapons in New York City, apartment buildings that are going to be blown up, planes that are going to fly into airports all over again. Plot lines that I don't know. I don't know what's going on inside the United States, and I'm struggling to find out where the next disaster is going to occur. Everybody forgets one central context of what we lived through, the palpable fear that we felt on the basis of the fact that there was so much we did not know. I know that this program has saved lives. I know we've disrupted plots. But what you're essentially saying is some people need to be tortured. No, I did not say that. I did not say that. So you're telling me that... I did not say that. The enhanced interrogation. I did not say that. We do not for... Listen to me. Look. Look, you're making an assumption. You call it in the book enhanced interrogation techniques. Well, that's what we call it. I mean, that's a euphemism. I'm not having a semantic debate with you. I'm telling you what I believe. Anybody ever die in an interrogation program? No. You're sure of that? Yeah, in this program that you and I are talking about, no. Have you ever seen any of the interrogations done? No. Didn't you feel like it was your responsibility to know what you're signing off on? I understood. I'm not a voyeur. I understand what I was signing off on. So again, my name's Brendan. Um, she's Nicole. Nicole. We are uh, in the Boston area. And we chose our location because this is actually our bedroom. And we were talking about how probably there's been more than one case of some of the people that have been tortured just being taken from their bedrooms and <clears throat> how the bedroom is sort of a obviously a private place and um, it's absolutely the last place that someone should um, be abducted from or tortured um, not that any place is good but uh, there's a certain security that comes with the bedroom so we thought that would be appropriate and we're doing it under this blanket because this whole thing seemed completely secretive uh almost like a a child plotting uh you know this entire thing under a blanket in 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 uh, in a bedroom um and we think it's important to reckon with torture because it's number one wrong um it'd be hard to say that it's right on any level or in any context uh, and number two as Americans um, we don't want our government to be able to lie to us so much more than we're even used to and uh, get away with it which obviously they they did um, do you want to say anything about that or um just that I think it's unfair for us to want other countries to sign human rights declarations that we don't want to follow. We don't want our soldiers and our people tortured, and so we should follow the same rules. Exactly.